and your phrasing was lovely, the way that you took the steps up um, in the chorus, the control of that was lovely. Fell over a riff or two now and again, but nerves, you know, we don't expect you to be perfect as such. Um, but your high range is so lovely. The only thing I would say if I was going to give you a little bit of constructive criticism is just you could have put a little bit more light and shade in the beginning because the ending was so big, you could have had more of a build. It was kind of all there and then there. Does that make sense? Like you could have just added a little bit more feeling into it and it could have risen even more and just taken it to another level. But it was a really good performance. Well done. Thank you. Anya. Oh, I'm so happy to see you sing again. Because I always look forward to seeing what you do with songs because like I think every song I've heard you sing you've just completely flipped it and it's just like yeah um, they sang it this way this was my way and I absolutely love how you do that I think that was the perfect track for you because like we said it was really suited to your voice and it was just suited to you and it was just so graceful and then like obviously you had like the power in the end and I think you absolutely nailed it and I think it's actually the, uh, one of the strongest vocal performances you've actually ever had which, uh, yeah, well done, it's amazing. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah. Kelly? Yeah, I think it's so different from anything you've shown us previously. Um, and I loved how you played your strengths. You didn't stick to the original, you didn't try to copy the melody. You played to, your, one of your strengths is your belt and your power. And you, you put that in there and you used that and you really, really played your strengths. And I really, really like that. There's some really, really powerful ad, ad libs in there as well. Um, and I think it's the most I've heard you play with your voice and the most I've heard you play with the song. Um, it was really, really original, really unique. And I, I think it was a great way to start tonight off. I mean, it was a really, really beautiful performance. I love how you dressed for the performance as well. You really put everything into it. In, in, into it? What's that? Into that? I'm getting tired now. 
Yes, it was beautiful. You should be really proud of that. Really, really beautiful. Well done, Emily. Thanks, Kel. Joe? Yeah, Emily, honestly, like I said, it, this is really different for us all tonight because this is not how our usual final would be. But, it, it, like I said, we're making the most of it. At the end of the day, it's been nine months since she was last in front of us on the stage. For all of it, um, so it's kind of like reconnecting with that buzz again. And I felt like I saw that tonight, like especially on the last section, when you really started to push on the top end of your voice. I was like, whoa, she's really, really giving it everything into that, which made it so original to you. Because like I said, some of the parts of your voice that have stood out for me, in particular throughout the season back in March, was the powerful side. You know, that powerful, when you get up to them notes and you hold up, they're so raw and real. Um, and I really felt like this was really passionate to do tonight. I felt like you really got into the zone and it was like, I'm just gonna do my thing. That's what I felt. I think it was beautiful. I think it was a nice choice for the final. So unique, a very unique version of that because that doesn't sound like anything like the, the original version, but that's the beauty of it. A brilliant start to this set. Well done. Well done, Thanks, Joe.